Hi everyone. I'm really sorry I can't be there in person to go over what's on the test, but this video is better because you can watch it over and over again and you don't have to get someone's notes and you can really post it and you can this is how we'll review so the test on monday which has to be on monday i'm told it cannot be moved is going to be on a couple of pages 38 39 40 you don't have to know this inside but you have to know um you must know the content which is basically this chart so i'm pretty much going to give you this chart exactly on the test and you're responsible to fill it in i mean Mind you, I'm going to change the order so you can't just memorize it. Uh, then you have to know page 42 and 43 and 44. And then the material from yesterday and today, 45, 46, and that's it. So it's not that much material. Again, it's pages 38 through 46. And I'm going to go over all of it now because I'm the man. Okay, so this concept of Shomer, Shemus, or the Shomer uh, is the first one. It's what's the rule if a watcher gives to another watcher? So in order to understand this, you really have to start by knowing that there are different categories of watchmen. And that's this chart here. So if you look at this chart, um, there's three categories of watchers, but there are four watchmen. There's the Shomer Chinam, who's the free watchman, the Shomer Sachar, who's the hired watchman or the security guard. There's a Socher, a renter, and then there's the Shoel, who's the borrower. Now, the thing you have to understand about all four of these people and all three of the categories is that when you are a Shomer, when you're a watcher, you're taking on responsibility to return this object to the owner. Now, what does that mean? It means I have to return it in its original form. I'm responsible to both watch the object and I'm responsible to make sure nothing happens to it and I'm responsible to make sure nothing, it doesn't do anything. So if you have like an iPhone, it's not going to do anything, just responsible to watch it. But if you're talking about an animal, then you're worried it's not going to do something. But so for right now, we're going to talk about what about the object, making sure nothing happens to it. So the free watchman, the Shomer Chinam is the first category. He's the free watchman. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through these categories of what, say, something happens to the item. So let's say the item gets is, is gone. It's totally gone. So if the owner was poshea or had was it was broken or lost because of pshia, pshia is negligent. He is chayav. He's going to be chayav, which means he's obligated to pay for it. Even though I get nothing out of watching your object and I'm doing you a favor, I'm still have to be responsible and nothing happens to it for nothing. But let's say the object is stolen from my house or lost. I mean, lost means I wasn't irresponsible, I just can't find it. In those cases, we say you're patur. Meaning, let's say, for example, uh, I someone gives me their iPhone to watch. Say, Rabbi, can you watch my iPhone? I'm going to take a test. I say, sure. And then I leave it on the ca on uh, the lunchroom table and it's gone. That would be pshia, you're chayev, because you did something irresponsible. But let's say I leave it in my my office and someone comes into my office and steals it. I would say that's geneva. Because you without you put it in a place that's somewhat secure and someone took responsibility. And the last case, the last comes onus. Let's say something crazy happens. There's a hurricane, a tornado, and it destroys the phone. Of course you're exempt. Now, the next category, again, I don't get any benefit. All the benefit is going to you, the owner, and I'm not getting any benefit. That's why I have the lo a very low level of responsibility. The only thing I'm obligated to make sure it happens is I'm not irresponsible. Now, next category. The sucker and the soaker, the renter or the hired watchman. He's the renter or the hired watchman. Renter or the hired watchman. So those are cases where it's going both ways. The benefit goes in both directions. As the renter... I'm paying money, so but I'm getting a service back. And then the hired watchman, I'm watching this, but I'm getting paid to watch it. So in both situations, the responsibility goes both ways. So in that case, of course, you're chayav for pshia. But here's something new. I'm even chayav for geneva. That by because the benefit goes in both directions, I have a higher level of responsibility. But let's say something crazy happens, I'm exempt. And the last category is the shoel, the borrower. So in the borrower's case, I'm borrowing something, I'm getting all the benefit. I'm getting something and I'm getting to use it. So in that situation, because you're getting so much out of this, you're going to be chayav for pshia, chayav obligated if it's stolen or lost. And the, the real kicker is you're even chayav, 
if something crazy happens. That by me taking borrowing something from you, I take on an added level of responsibility for this object. And that's like a, that's really see the concept of shomrim. That these four shomrim with three categories. This is a chart that you're going to be responsible for um, in terms of understanding. Oh, I don't know if the last column got cut off, but whatever, you'll figure it out. Let us sing to me. Uh, and that's the category. Now, if you keep go, if you, let's go back to our gemara. So if you go back to our gemara here, um, so shomer shemaser the shomer. Let's say one shomer gives it to another shomer to watch. So the gemara. This is based on our mishnah. Masra l'roa nichnas aroa tachtav. The gemara. The mishnah says if a shepherd gives it to another shepherd, if someone. Sorry, let me rephrase. If someone gives an object to a shepherd. The shepherd comes in place of him. Tachtav is the key word. It's not in our gemara, but it's in the mishnah. Tachtav means in place of. So now the shepherd has all the responsibility over the animal. So the Gemara wants to know, Amri, Tachtav Duman, who is this new shepherd in place of? Who is he instead of? The Gemara asks, Ilema Tachtav Dubal Behema, if you want to say it's because he comes under, he's now instead of the owner, and that now he's responsible for this animal, that can't be. So why can't that be? Because we already learned that somewhere else, and it's an obvious teaching. Tanina Chada Zimna. We already learned one time. Masru l'shomer chinam shoel no se schar socher kulan nichnesu tachar abalim. We already learned in an earlier Mishnah that if an owner owner gives it to a to a watcher, any watcher, any of the watchers. The watcher takes on all the responsibility. So if we already learned that he takes on all the responsibility, that he's responsible. If you would give someone a dog to watch your dog, that he's responsible for that dog totally. So we already learned this. Why do we need this? So rather the Gemara says, Ella tacht of the Shomer. Rather it's a case where a watcher gives it to a watcher. So now the Gemara has a question. The Shomer Kama Ifterle Legamre. The assumption is that this is a, a statement that the first watcher, so again, it's it's a watcher, gives it to a watcher. So there are three parties now. There's the owner who gave it to watcher A, we'll call him, and then that watcher gave it to watcher B. So that's, this is what we're going to take a break now from this unit and look at another Gemara. That if one watcher gives to who's responsible to the owner if something happens? Who is the owner go, got to go to say, wait a second, I gave this to you, not to him. And does the, if something happens to the item, is watcher B responsible or watcher A? So if you remember, there's another Gemara on page 42 in your packet, and another Masechta that talks about this. It's Itmar, Shomer, Shemaser, Shomer. So, what has to happen if a watcher gives it to another watcher? Rav Amar Pater, Rav Yochan Amar Chayim. So, this is the Machloket. Rav says you're Patur, and Rav Yochanan says they're Chayav. Meaning, who is Chayav? We'll call him Watcher A. Watcher A is going to be responsible for everything that happens if Watcher B does something. So, again, you have watcher, what the owner gives it to watcher A, and then watcher A gives it to watcher B. According to Rav, watcher A is completely out of the picture. According to Rav Yochanan, watcher A is responsible. So the Gemara now is going to discuss what's their logic. So the Gemara says, Amar Abai letame de Rav lo mi bay shomer chinam shemasa the shomer sacher de iluye shmirato. So Abai says, even if 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 we give it if a shomer chinam gives it to a Shomer Sachar, where it's higher level watching, like now there's more responsibility. Even in that case, that's for sure. Even if, let's say, I hire a security guard, and then the security guard gives it to his friend to watch for free, even in that case, we assume that what happens, that the person is absolved. Why? My taima de ha master le ben dot. This is the key expression. According to Rob, if one person gives it to another, and the both people are capable, intelligent people, the you are responsible only for that. 
So again, if something happens, let's say here's the case, you have a, 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 a hired watchman, I hire a security guard to watch my dogs. I pay him money to walk my dog. And then, not a security guy, I pay a dog walker. And then this dog walker gives it to someone to watch for free. So now the free watcher only has a limited amount of responsibility. And my dog gets stolen. So the free watchman comes back to me and says, the dog was stolen. I say, great, you have to pay because I hired someone. He says, no, I'm not that responsible. I'm only this responsible. And the Gemara says that's correct. You're the middle watchman and that, the, the second watchman are both, uh, they're both off the hook. But according to Rav Yosef, um, the answer is it's the opposite. It doesn't matter if it goes up or goes down. You're always obligated. Why? Because you say, I never wanted this object to be in anyone else's hands. I only wanted it in your hands. Therefore, what? Therefore, we say, because of that, anything that happens to this object, if there's a responsibility of any party, that's why um, you're going to be uh, obligated to pay. So even if there's a hurricane, or even if it's stolen, the the middle watchman is always responsible. Because I say I wanted you to watch it, no one else. I only trusted you. I didn't give you the right to give it to him. Even if you say, well, I hi even if the watch like, well, I hired a security card. And I said I don't care. I wanted you to watch it. So if you go back to our Gemara, our Gemara has a question. It says here in our Gemara. Sorry, it's the wrong way. Our Gemara says. Um, our Gemara says, Lema tehavi tiyufta durava. So we just said that if the owner gives it to watcher A, and then watcher A gives it to watcher B, watcher A is totally out of the picture because watcher B has all the responsibility. So the Gemara says, Lema tehavi tiyufta durava. Say this is a question on Rava. Di Amar Rava, Shomer Shemasa the Shomer Chayev. Because this seems to say that Rava said, if a Shomer gives it to a Shomer, he's Chayev. So, Amr Lacha, Rava, my time, my Masru Leroa, Masru Le Barzilai. De Orcha De Roa Le Mimsa Le Barzilai. So, the Gemara says, our case in our mission is different. We're not talking about a regular case where a Shomer gives it to a Shomer. Um, and, and therefore, we're taking a watcher A is exempt. And that would be a question on the opinion of Rava from our Gemara that said that it's Chayav. No, we're talking about a case where what? Where it's a situation that everyone knows that when you give it to a shepherd, he might give it to his apprentice. A Barzila is an apprentice. And this is normal. Amr al-Kharava, my Masru Luro, and the Mishnah said you're giving it to a shepherd. What was it talking about? It was specifically talking about giving it to an apprentice. And it's normal for apprentices, watchers, to give to their apprentice. So, like, for, this is really the example. An owner doesn't give it to a regular watcher. He gives it to a dog walking company. And then that dog walker gives it to one of the employees. So, in that case, if something happens, you're exempt. Because why? I always knew you knew when you gave it to me, you knew that I was going to give it to someone else. So, therefore, you can't say what? You can't say to me, I only wanted you to watch it. Why? Because I always knew that you were going to give it to someone else. So anyway, this is the end of the first unit. Um, again, the things you have to know are, uh, we'll start, you could start, you have to know this chart here about the four Shomrim. You have to know the Gemara, the Machloga between Rav and Rav Yochanan about Ayuchayev and Patur. You also have to know um, the Gemara, page 38. And then you also have to know the last unit we just did about the Shomer Aveda, which is on page 45 and 46. Okay. I look forward to seeing you all on Monday. Be ready for the test. Bye.